Hello guys, very quickly, guess what we're going to be learning? We're going to look at the muscles in the deep anterior compartment of the forearm. And this is our lesson 10, right? Yes. So what is it that we should know about the muscles in the deep anterior compartment of the forearm? When we're looking at these muscles, please, all together in the deep, we are seeing the anterior compartment, but not, not superficial and that we have PF, PFF, but the deep of them, right? How many muscles do we have in the deep? There are three of them. Number one is called your flexor pollicis longus. What is it called? Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Flex up on leases, longus. Be learning them on. Paste them in your room. Paste them in your house. Keep saying them until they become part of you. Your flexor policies what longus is number one. Number two is called the flexor digitorum profundus. Flexor digitorum profundus. The one that we have in the superficial is the flexor digitorum superficialis. These guys, flexor digitorum profundus. The word profundus means deep. That's why it is in the deep compartment. And then the third is called the pronator quadratus. Pronator quadratus. You know that we have pronator in the anterior compartment, but that one is the pronator what teres, right? Pronator teres. This is pronator what quadratus. Want to go call all of them for me? Your flexor pollicis longus, your flexor digitorum profundus, and your pronator what quadratus. Flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, and pronator quadratus. Flares up policy stars. Flares up digital profundus apronator for tattoos. Come on, flares up policy. What is the acronym? The acronym is FSP. What is it called? FSP. 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 In the anterior compartment, but they are deep. Let me explain them one by one so that you get it very quickly. The first here is the flexor policies longus. And this is the muscle there. From the name flexor, that means if you have to flex policies, the word policies means thumb. The Greek word for thumb is policies. Are you getting it now? So the flexor policies long them um, longus. It is a long from the name longus. It means it is long. It is a long muscle that will go and help to flex the thumb. That's why we call it the flexor policies longus. Does it make sense? Very fast. Then next quickly is what we call the flexor digitorum profundus. Flexor, it is a flexor muscle. Digitorum, it will go and flex the digits profundus and it is deep. The word profundus means it is a deep muscle. Does it make sense? What will it do? It will flex the what the digits for you. And then the third is the pronator quadratus. Pronator, it will assist the pronator teres, right? To pronate the what the forearm. Are you getting it now? But now quadratus means it is quadrangular in shape oh from the name now quadratus it is quadrangular something like more like a square shade is here now quadrangular muscle pronator quadratus but now it is at the downside of it this, this is where you have it does it make sense the one you have here is the pronator what teres the one you have here is the what pronator what quadratus that's all but no stress now no stress want to go let's go let's go let's go again call all the muscles in the deep um, compartment for me in the anterior deep compartment of the forearm. Number one is the word there, your flexor policies longus. What will you go and flex to go and flex the thumb? The second one is the word flexor digitorum profundus to go and flex the digits, but it is what deep. And then the third is the pronator quadratus, it will pronate the word the forearm. If you get that very fast with me, that means you can rock the question FFP. What are the various questions here? Questions, oh yeah, let's go, let's go. Answer all these questions for me, bro. This question is for you, bros. Now you first answer our question 20. The question all the way says, which muscle in the deep anterior compartment of the forearm is responsible for flexing the tongue? Oh, get out, baby get. I did not ask you, but you are correct. Option A say flexor capi or naris, just the place. Option B say flexor policies longus. Option C say pronator teres. Option D say flexor digital room superficial. What is the answer? Flexor policies longus. Option B is the answer. You see, you think you thought that anatomy was difficult. Sure, it's shocking you now that it's very simple, easy, and direct. Very easy. If you get that very fast, let's go. The next question, all the way, question 21. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you say create account and login. You only log in 
right when you already have an account since you don't have an account click click on create account when you get there put in your phone number put in your phone number after putting in your phone number you click on continue right your first name of course you put in your first name there if your first name is james you put in james as your first name your last name if your last name is victor you put in what victor as your last name then you come to email address right put in your email address there very quickly james112 at gmail.com at gmail.com then your password right oh yes those of you that like if you want to use your name your password can just be like six digits right oh yes so let me say james 12th james 12th as the password right fill everything accurately and correctly james 12 don't jump any stage if not your account is not going to open for you select education on that select education of course university you click university leave secondary primary leave the others click university or tertiary click it come to select level on that select level you go and select your level if it's 100 level 200 level of course all these are the university classes click on 200 level and click on create accounts once you click on create account what will happen your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct so you see it this is how you create your account and then from here you can see that you have your anatomies here your upper limb your lower limb separately embryology histology systemic anatomy those ones are for nursing your cvs cardiovascular system your blood physiology excitable tissues systemic physiology intro to biochemistry your bowel molecules bcm for nursing nursing psychology you have access to every single thing in the app now let me see what is in the app let's say for example upper limb you click on the upper limb right you can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you overview of the upper limb pectoral region arm region for arm hand all of them part by part when i click on the overview of the upper limb of course i'll just match it straight to my class parts of the upper limb one part of the upper limb two bone of, bones of the upper limb joints of the upper limb muscles you see all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say okay you want to forward you want to pause you want to back and um, back forward anyone you want to do and you take it forward and what happened you can see all of them very very easy and the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class are you with me so that's for that and you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app oh yes when you get to the notes section of the app of course the notes are there mm -hmm. well organized and arranged for you and you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions questions are there for you and there are answers you start um following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own and there is cpt in the app as well for you a lot of other aspects that you can follow up all of this in the learn lift app same way you have for anatomy that's how you have for physiology that's how you have for biochemistry are you getting it now for the now bye bye the question says let's go what is the primary action of the flexor digitorum profundus flexor digitorum digitorum profundus deep muscle flexor digitorum option a says extension of the finger no it's a flexor muscle option b says flexion of the wrist mm -hmm. option c says flexion of the distal phalanx of the finger flexor digitorum digits which are the fingers there option this is supination of the forearm no that means a and d they are the answer is between b and c because flexor flexor flesh on the second place flesh on flesh on of the wrist it is not wrist where is it going to flex fingers digits digits digitorum so option what c is the correct answer does it make sense are you getting it if you understand this very quickly with me bro this is a q and a question go to the comment section drop the answer for me or drop the answer in the q and a section of the app for me the question all the way says let's go 
which muzzle in the deep and serial compartment of the forearm? Which muzzle in the deep and serial compartment of the forearm, right? Assist in the pronation ah, of the forearm. It's a simple question. Also, first is flexor capi radialis. This is pronator quadratus. This is flexor pollicis longus. This is subinator. Subinator can never be the answer. Only oh, you go to the QA. Go and drop the answer for me. If you get this very quickly with me. Guess what? We are done with every single thing that has to do with the muscles of the um, anterior compartment of the forearm. We are done with the muscles of the anterior compartment of the forearm, both the superficial and the deep. Now, where are we going to go to? We are going to go into the what? The posterior compartment of the forearm. But you are going to do me a favor very quickly before you proceed to the posterior compartment, right? Only you write out all the muscles. Don't go to your notes. Don't watch the video back. First, write down all the muscles that you have in the back, most of the back, as it relates to the upper limb. Write all of them down. If you have done that, write all the muscles of the pectoral region as it relates to the upper limb. Right hand, no fear, right hand. Go again and write the muscles of the shoulder as it relates to the what? Upper limb. No fear. Go and write all the muscles of the what? Anterior compartment of the arm as it relates to the upper limb. Write the muscles of the posterior compartment of the arm as it relates to the upper limb. Then write the muscles of the what? And um, superficial anterior compartments, and then write the most of the deep superficial um, deep what anterior compartments of the what for um as they relate to the upper limb, bro. Write all of them for me. If you have written all of them, now you can go and check whether you are correct before you go to the posterior compartment. This is my candid advice for you. Ensure you are always saying them, you are practicing them, you keep on saying that. For the now, peace out. I'll see you in posterior compartment, which is our lesson, what 11 for the now. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.